championship players do championship things like that. San Diego State has been perfect to open the 2019-2020 season. At 10-0, the Aztecs are one of five teams in the country who remain undefeated. Hi, I'm Jesse Kurtz in the Mountain West Network studio where we head to America's finest city and bring in one of the players who's a big reason for the Aztecs' early season success, junior guard Malachi Flynn. Malachi, I appreciate you making some time for us. The last time the Aztecs were 10-0 to open up the season was 2010-2011. That year, Kawhi Leonard led the Aztecs en route to a Sweet 16 bid later in the season. That's pretty good company right there to be in the same conversation as Kawhi Leonard. How well is this team playing right now? Um, I think we're playing pretty good. Um, we've, we've clicked on cylinders, all cylinders early so far, but um, I think there's still room for improvement um, just in a lot of areas. So I think we still have room to get better also. So this team, San Diego State, is ranked in the AP Top 25 for the first time in four years. Bracketologists even have you on pace for a number five seed in the NCAA tournament. Do you feel like this team is starting to earn national respect? Yeah, I think it's starting to come um, with the ranking and all that, but I don't think we're too worried about that. I think we're still kind of focused on one game at a time and um, continue to try to go win games because um, you're obviously not going to win anything in, in December. So um, we're definitely trying to just keep our heads down and continue to work. So there's no question your team has been tested through the first 10 games of this season. Wins over Grand Canyon, Creighton, Iowa, BYU. You have the number one strength of record in the country. What's been the most challenging part of this opening stretch of the season for you guys? Um, I think we just had a, we've had a different number of challenges um, with different teams. We played uh, teams really big. We played teams fast. So um, we, we played a lot of different types of teams. And I, I think we, we showed our resilience, especially with this last win in, in San Jose, uh, getting down late and finding a way to, to win. Well, let's talk about that last win. No question it's been the most exciting finish of the season. You hit the game-winning three-pointer in the closing seconds to beat the Spartans. Take me through those final seconds. What did you like about the shot? And what was the moment like? When the shot fell, yeah, it was a it was a tough game all game. Um, they stayed with us throughout. The, we never got a, a big lead at all, uh, so it was a fight. But they kind of got up on us at the end. They went up three. Um, we hit two free throws. Matt Mitchell, those were huge free throws. And then we had the ball with six seconds, five, almost six seconds left. Uh, we tried to get the ball inside, but it didn't work out. Uh, so I just came sprinting to the ball, trying to get open looks. And I, as soon as I let it go, it felt good and. Um, it went in and it, it was amazing feeling. The crowd were crazy, so um, it was definitely nice to get out of there with a win. Flynn for the win. It's you had some pretty high praise from your head coach, Brian Dutcher, who said after the game, quote, that's why he's here to take important shots, end quote. So to hear that from your head coach, how does that make you feel that he feels you are a guy that can be counted on with the game on the line? I just think it shows um, the level of trust we have between uh, when he recruited me. He told me I would be a big part um, of this team, and, and it, that's what it's been so far. So I think there's just a, a high level of trust between the two of us. Your team has a lot of players who suited up for the Aztecs for the first time last month. Talking about you, Yanni Wetzel, K.J. Fagan, as being significant contributors who transferred to San Diego State. Have you guys gelled even quicker than maybe you would have expected? Yeah, definitely. I think we all came here with, with the goal in mind to win. So I think that brought us together quickly. But um, we definitely hit the, hit the floor running, um, dealt pretty quickly. And I think we still have more room. But so far, it's been great to see how, how well we play with each other. Coming up on December 21st, you guys will play in the Basketball Hall of Fame Classic in Los Angeles with teams like Utah, LSU, and USC. How big of an opportunity will it be for your team to round out the non-conference play like that before you get back to Mountain West play? Yeah, it would be huge if we can get out of um, this month undefeated again. So just playing in Staples is, is going to be going to be crazy for all of us. I know all of us grew up watching the Lakers, um, watching Kobe in Staples. So it's definitely going to be a, a fun environment to go in and, and try to get a win. Well, Malachi, your team has been super fun to watch so far. Congratulations on the hot start and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to do this. That's Malachi Flynn, junior guard for San Diego State, who is undefeated and nationally ranked.
This feature has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.